Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to How Rise You Play Star Trek Online. Right now, we are directly outside the Zarantine system, and what are we going to do here? Why, well, we're going to play a new mission, of course, and that mission in particular happens to be Task Force Hippocrates. <coughs> there are more reports than usual about Klingon and Gorn attacks along the border of Federation space. Starfleet has created a task force to patrol the area. Proceed to your assigned coordinates in the Zarantine system and begin patrolling. If you receive any distress signals, you are authorized to do whatever is required to assist. Right on. So we're gonna head out to the Zarantine system and find out exactly what's going on over here. But why would the Gorn or the Klingons be interested in the Zarantine system? There really isn't much here aside from a frozen moon. Well, off to Zarantine 1 we go after bouncing off Zarantine 3. <laughs> off to Task Force Hypocrisies. Oh joy, it's another one of those loading screens that's going to take hours and 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 oh my god it's still loading. Hmm. Exactly why would they call this Task Force Hippocrates, though? Hippocrates was... wasn't he the fellow who said, Do no harm to your patients, that ancient... Uh, was it a Grecian doctor? Oh, look, we're here already. So, to all Federation ships in range, this is the USS Boyce. We are taking fire from Gorn fighters and need aid from any ships in range. Repeat, we are being attacked by Gorn ships and need help. Right on. To the rescue! Let's charge this up and this up and get this thing... And no, you targeted the wrong frigate, you frigate freighters! Oh well. Right now, all we can do is just keep firing away at this sucker. Odds are it won't be too difficult to pretty much cream him with ease. That might have come out wrong, but you know what I mean. Just keep firing and keep shooting, and with any luck at all, we won't need to do too much damage before he will go down with a bang. Ah, second mess up, frigate. You, my friend, are not going to even last as long as your co- Your predecessor, not your cohort! Well, he was a cohort, but he was also a predecessor. He came before you, he came alongside you, and he will come again now that he is gone. This is the end of the world as we know it, and I feel like you're gonna die. Your shields are not taking this well. This won't be- This will not take long. Keep firing, Captain. And our enemies facing shields are down. Then with a tractor beam so that they can't change exactly what fields are facing us. So that ought to be enough to take them down. Alright, you guys have been rescued. How are you guys doing in there? You don't seem to be looking too good. Alright, hailing the USS Boyce. Thanks for the assistance. We had diverted from our deliveries to deploy these emergency solar collectors, but now we need your help to activate them. Our starboard coupling powered coupling is blown, and we're reading damage to our navigational systems and warp core. If you can reroute the collector's energy output to leave to us, we should use them to keep our shields up while we make repairs. We should have no trouble getting close enough to switch the collectors to transmit mode. Right on, activate those solar collectors, wherever they are. Uh-oh. Well, it looks like these Gorn ships are now patrolling around these solar collectors. It looks like they're aiming to cause more damage to them. Not while I'm around. Keep firing. This and that and everything we can. Fire, fire, burn, 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 and the burning ring of fire. I'm gonna shoot you with this shit so that your ambient hull temperature gets higher. Attack pattern alpha. Let's see exactly what you say about this. No, you don't. You're not getting away from my weapons that easily. Try cobalt device. Oh boy, they are not doing so hot. Oh wait, is that meant to be our damage that's being registered on their ship? Or is it their damage that's being registered on our ship? At any rate, they don't have any th damage left to take. Alright, so that's one solar collector that's been taken out. Two more to go. Hmm. Heal shields. Full impulse to the next solar collector. Second one right here. Activate that sucker. Third to Atara ship is right behind you. Hit this and that and fire. With that and that, the targeting systems. This and that, I don't know what this does. Maybe hit them with a little radiation. First, our shields polarity so that we can 
survive a much stronger attack from them. My goodness, this one seems to be a little more difficult and challenging than the previous one. A full-on attack didn't do nearly as much damage as I would have hoped, but at least we can send, still send them a goodbye greeting. Fire! Try Cobalt Device. Away! Fire on that. Ooh, he did not like that, folks. He did not like that at all. Come on, you. Oh, Mr. Tuatara Cruiser. I got a tractor beam with your name on it, as well as the assassin. What is this again? My ass ray. Whatever it's called. Our forward shield is down. That won't last long. Get this, that, that, that. Ooh, might want to reverse. Get that, get that. Repair shields. More power to shields. There. Well, at least we're doing more damage to them than they are to do us, for now. Our hull is at 75%, but their hull is even lower. Low, 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 you boat. One transphasic cluster torpedo coming right at you. One whole bunch of mines coming right at you as well. Just keep shooting at them, and they will not be able to survive. Ouch! Is that us that shot the torpedoes or them? Oftentimes, I forget. My memory could really use a pick-me-up every so often, but... Keep firing, keep shooting, keep weaponizing their exhaust ports. Did that make sense? I don't think that made sense. Just keep shooting, just keep... Ah, port shields down. That, this, set them with the radiation ray. Yes, getcha! Don't really need the auxiliary battery, thank you very much. All I need to do is activate this collector, and we are de fine and dandy. The voice is hailing us, Captain. Power levels are holding steady, Admiral. We can handle it from here. Thanks for the helping hand. Hopefully we'll be able to finish our medical deliveries without too much of a delay. Good luck, boys. Forrester out. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. A Vulcan medical vessel, the T'Pau, is requesting assistance. We're the closest ship. I've laid out a course of the T'Pau's coordinates. We can leave on your command. Right on. Let's warp to the T'Pau. Whoa! Not so far down. This, we're still in the Xerentine system, though. Looks like we're right outside the main planet. Hailing the T'Pau, sir. Channel open. I'm Solar, captain of the Vulcan medical ship T'Pau. There's an outbreak of Tachylian syndrome on the planet's surface. It is of utmost importance that the medical supplies we carry be delivered immediately. Please accompany us to the planet and, and defend us from energy sh enemy ships. Well, I don't see any enemy ships, but I might as well give you a shot. There's the T'Pau. Our ship is the stronger, but I'm not entirely sure why you have to be qu We are under attack. Your prompt assistance is requested. That, 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 that. Track to beam them and fire away. Fire! Nope, nope, nope. You don't get that. You don't get off that easy. Just shoot them and shoot them and shoot them till you can't shoot them no more. Track to beam. Exit on Ray. Proton torpedoes. All will be deployed against the Atuatara cruiser, and boy, they will not like that one bit. Keep firing. Hi, I'd like you to meet my friend, the transphasic cluster torpedo and the tricobal device. You didn't like them? Well, that's a shame. And the, this and that. Keep firing. Keep firing. Better improve the shields just a little bit. Come on, you. Well, at least the two Atari cruiser isn't long for this world. Increase power to speed and agility. With the acid ton ray, and while we're at it, might as well dump our warp plasma and leave him to eat this. Ooh, he didn't like that at all, but I was a little too close to that thing when I went off. Ah, well. There's one problem that's solved. So. We don't really need an auxiliary battery, so I'm just going to help the T'Pau out. The Zarotine system is not a location of strategic importance. These Gorn attacks must have some other motive. But what? What the heck could the Gorn want with, I don't know, Planet Rust? Doesn't seem to be very... Uh, what's that? Oi! That good. That good. Ah, you ugly sons of bitches! Fire! Fire everything! Hit them with machines, hit them with swords, hit them with everything. Wait, we don't have any swords. I will close the gap and I will hit you with a sword out of pure spite! Well, at least the Visap frigates aren't really as dangerous as they could be otherwise. Nope. 
illusory bob. No, but they are very good at redirecting my targeting systems, and that is irritating as all get out. Target, target, goody, shield at the target. Port shields down, starboard shields down. The shields are not holding out well. Reverse their polarity, so we might be able to actually do something there. Firing. We don't have any choice but to keep firing. Especially since... There we go. One down, two remain. Hey, you. I think I'll take you on first. No, wait. Who's got the more damage to them? You do. Let's see, hit me with that. And hit you with that. And... Hey! Hit me with a tractor beam. Well, that's sold easily enough by review. We are firming our polarity. Let's dump some warp plasma out there. We distribute the shields. The attack pattern alpha. Uh oh. Hey, yay, yay. That hit us hard. Fortunately, we'll be able to hit them even harder. Have you tried cobalt device and transphasic cluster torpedo? Oh, hey! Boom. Well, that's one problem solved, I think. Yeah, wow! I think blew him right up. He blew him real fine. Now we've only got one mishap friggin' remaining. He doesn't seem to be doing too well at the moment, though. I'd say well, this fight's in the bag, wouldn't you? Yes, you would, because you would agree with me, because you are a good person. Good people are the ones who agree with me. Yeah, get that. And if they don't, they get blued up. Kind of like that. All right, VS to, to POW. Vul VS, Vulcan ship, of course. All oh, right. Frickin' 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 birds of prey. Man, the, now the Romulans and the Klingons are working together, and I'm getting shot at. They need to use evasive maneuvers. Might want to use a targeting system as well. Get the cloaking device up. Get the... No, they're getting the cloaking device up. We don't want them to get the cloaking device up. Because if they get the cloaking device up, then that's going to hurt! <coughs> well, there's one problem solved. Problem number two, come right up. Hey, shoot at me! I dare you. It'll only heal my shields at this point. But with that, that... And there we go. I said, target the Hechta bird of prey. Blasted computer systems aren't really doing their job as they should. Fortunately, these birds of prey are much more dangerous from the front than from the back. So, attack pattern alpha, and we'll see if we can't outmaneuver this place before it goes boom, and we did not. Ow. There. Penetrating weapons are the most useful at this point. Keep firing. Oh, no, you don't. With a tractor beam in the middle. There. The presence of Klingon vessels indicates that this attack is not simply a Gorn raid, but an operation by the Klingon Defense Force. Well, that's not good. It's bad. Captain, the T'Pau is hailing us. Admiral, we are detecting weapons fire on the planet's surface. My ship is on a mission of peace. We are unequipped to deal with armed resistance. Will you secure the area so our healers can transport to the planet's surface safely? Right, clear the area for the Vulcan medical team. I think we'll probably need a doctor and... Uh, this, this looks like as good a team as any at the moment, to be honest. We don't know what we'll find down there, but a doctor will always be helpful in this situation. So, exactly who will we find in the Zarantine Research Hospital that we're beaming down to? I'm reading multiple Gorn and Klingon life size between here and the medical facility. We'll need to defeat them before the Vulcan medical team can transport. The local security personnel are unequipped to deal with them. I'm also reading various life size about the complex. It looks like some of the patients were caught in the crossfire. Check your fire, we don't want to risk any of the patients. Defeat the invading Klingons and the Gorn. Fine. Uh-oh. Ow! Federation! Stop them! <laughs> you can try. You will fail. Great. Gorn Rangers, Klingon fighters. Klingon warriors, I'm sorry. You seem more equipped to fight than to actually wage war, I'm afraid. Hey, Mr. Gorn. We can fight, too. Captain, that security bar guard might have an idea of what's going on. Yo, you okay? Starfleet, thank goodness you've arrived. We've been overwhelmed. Klingons and Gorn are ransacking the whole place. Good to see you here. They've been wiping us out. Why are the Klingons attacking? As far as I can tell, they're ransacking this place for medical supplies. This is a research hospital with the best technology that Zaratina has to offer. But what do the Klingons want with medical supplies? They've got their own. I don't know. The Gorn have been going through all the computers and medical kits, and they're definitely looking for something specific. 
Looks like the Klingons brought their Gorn allies. Yes, this is definitely some kind of shared operation between them. The Klingons are doing the fighting, but the Gorn have been taking care of the science. They're the ones looking through the files and taking gear and sample containers. Stay here and keep your head down. We'll take care of the Klingons. You don't have to tell me twice. So, what's next? You know what? That's driving me nuts. We're not fighting Borg right now. I don't need a transphasic inducer. Thank you very much. So what we're going to change it, exchange it for is... Hmm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes. <clears throat> Suppressing fire. Target slow and damage debuff. Sure. That'll hurt them. Check the hospital files. This console. Antiquary hospital services. Research services. There's all the major medical needs of the Zarentine colony. Emergency services, medical patient services, and extended medical care are all available. This hospital includes developments from Federation of Medical Research as well as incorporating proprietary, proprietary local therapy tracks. Medical teams have new treatment methods involving gene treat resequencing, viral therapy, and radiation. Xenotransplantation to cure problems caused by radiation poisoning, genetic defects, and unsanctioned Tucker contacts. It's genetic researching research, but that's illegal in the Federation. Xerentine isn't a Federation colony world. This could be what the Klingons and Gorn are looking for. Hmm. <coughs> So what? Uh oh, incoming. Well, these guys are annoying, but so there's the Gorn out of the way, and there's the Klingon out of the way. Sheesh! Who let him in? Yeah, heavy rangers. So might as well stun him and then get him out of the way. I'll take this poly alloy weave armor. Yeah, we've already got better weapons than armor than that anyway. So. The incredible bouncing Gorn has teleported away! Broop. It's not a Gorn, it's a Horda. What am I talking about? Hello? Where are the resequencing virals? I don't know. I'm just a patient. I don't know! Ah, Admiral, you're early. Oh, great. So he's just gonna wander away. Well, attack stores are something we don't need. A handler is something that's easy to take out, though. For now. Might as well stun him so he can't stick any more of these, his pets on us. Just to get rid of the ranger through general good old-fashioned phaser fire. Who's left? Klingon warriors are an annoyance. But, at least, uh-oh. Great. Sir. Target optics. Let's press there. Pressing fire. Lay that down. All right, that worked out well. So, talk to a patient. Fine. Can I talk to you? Please, you have to help me. Why are you here? I'm being treated for Takadian syndrome. There's been some kind of outbreak lately. I don't know much about it other than the doctors say I need a transplant of my own bone marrow, resequenced and cloned. Why are you behind a force field? Are you contagious? No, no, the Gorn's Klingons put those force fields up when they arrived. They didn't want any of us to escape. Most of the patients here can barely stand. We're not going anywhere. What did the Gorn want with you? He was asking about all the medical supplies and tests, the resequencing virus, the cell growth chambers, everything. I don't know about these things. I'm just a patient here. Resequencing and cloning. It's like they're stealing materials used for genetic augmentation. The Klingons never had any luck with augmentation. Their attempts to use the augmentation virus in the 22nd and 23rd century were disasters. Why would they be bothering again? The Klingons have never been once to reopen an unsuccessful line of inquiry. Because it's not for the Klingons. It's for the Gorn. Oh, this is bad. Speedy Gorn are not what we need to f confront the Gorn hogs. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired of this lizard and fly game. Let's finish this, Admiral. Couldn't agree more, big boy. We'll take care of your little play, play friends next. First, ow! Oh, crudly, crudly, that hurt. Well, there's one trooper out of the way. There's only you left. Hey, Mr. Hodge. Hit them with that. Hit them with a photon grenade. Oh my god, he's still coming. He's like the freaking Terminator. Get a couple more guys down here. We might need some help. Suppressing fire. Oh. Well, I think we got him. Hey, Captain Salar, good news. Excellent. Hey, Captain. 
Although this facility has sustained some damage, I expect that my crew will be able to restore this wake to functionality in 52.3 minutes. Your decisive decision has potentially saved the lives of many patients today, Admiral. While the hospital may be saved, I'm still concerned about what the Gorn might have stolen. I cannot speak to the larger issues of the Gorn and Klingon attacks. Logic suggests that if the Gorn left any clues behind, my crew will find them while they are making repairs. Do not hesitate to speak with them for further information. Your assistance has been appreciated, but the situation is now stable. You may depart at your leisure. Thank you, Captain Sailor. The area is secure, Admiral. Captain Sailor's crew may be able to answer a few questions for you, if you wish. We can return to the Forester as soon as you're ready. Actually, I have a few questions. Doctor? Peace and long life to you, Admiral. What is Takanian Syndrome? A rare virus that attacks the blood cells of some humanoids. It was first diagnosed 47.6 years ago on Takan 3. Victims of them slowly stop producing red blood cells and if left untreated, the disease is always fatal. What's the treatment? We will administer a series of injections to the patients over the course of the next three weeks. The treatment can be uncomfortable, but if given in time, the recovery rate is 100%. Who developed the treatment? A team at Starfleet Medical used the Fabrini cure for Z Xenopolycythemia, developed by Ambassador Spock and Admiral Leonard McCoy in 2268 as the basis for a treatment. Xenopolycythemia and Takanian syndrome are similar in nature. The Vulcan Science Academy is attempting to determine if the two diseases are linked in some way. Alright, that was absolutely useless. Anybody else? No? Alright then. Let's get the heck out of here, folks. <clears throat> Forrester, five to beam up. I think we're all done here. So... Oh boy, another loading screen. Starfleet. Good work, Admiral. I'm looking forward to reviewing your report. Now, at first glance, it's clear that the Klingons are doing something with genetic modification. Since they don't have their own equipment, they're stealing ours. This is a bad road, and I suspect there's worse news to come. I'll take that. I don't really need it, but... Boy, oh boy, this could end badly. Super weapons... Genetically augmented Gorn? Who's, what's next? Death?